Welcome to Power Plus Mobility's educational session. So today what I have with you here is I have three different types of chairs and I have three different types of ox axle plates. First, I'd like to address why we need rear axle adjustability on any one of these frames that we're going to show you here today. So <clears throat> first of all, nobody has sits at the same seat to floor height. There's different heights of uh, torso heights and different length of legs. So we're constantly measuring up the end user and making sure that they're sitting in the chair properly and at the right height. Uh, why do they need to sit at, the, sit at the right height? Some clients foot propel, so their feet need to be on the ground, level on the ground, so they can strike and foot propel with their feet. Uh, some clients' feet don't need to be off the ground, so we need to raise the frame. And the only way we can really raise the frame is either by changing out the wheel configurations on the front or the back, or having the adjustability in the rear axle and adjusting where the wheel can go in the rear. And that's how we adjust for the rear seat to floor heights. So here I have uh, an STP uh, frame. And again, um, all of our parts are interchangeable. So the, the rear axles that I'm gonna show you on the STP and the Extreme are universal. Um, and there are two different mounts. So originally we started with this type of a rear axle plate with a bolt through. And this rear axle plate mounted on the outside of the frame here. And as you can see on the frame, there's multiple holes where we can move the axle plate forward to adjust for center of gravity or for the client to reach the wheels. So we want to adjust the, sit at the center of gravity forward so our client can actually reach the wheels when they're hand propelling. Your other level of adjustment is um, an upward adjustment or a lower adjustment. And that increases the rear seat to floor height or decreases the rear seat to floor height. And we have seven slots that we, can, that we are able to play with here. This was our old style. So one of the improvements that we made was we needed to, we were try, always trying to get the chair as light as possible, as narrow as possible, and as tight as possible. And the reason why we want it as narrow as possible is are for those tight 32 inch doorways, uh, 28 inch doorways, uh, when we are propelling through there. So we switched our rear axle from this external rear axle plate to a maximum axle plate that is contoured and not flat, but it contours within the frame and it sits inside the frame like that. So now we've taken one inch of width of the chair away from uh, the wheels, so we've narrowed the chair. And this is our new axle plate that we use on our STP. So again, it slides that way, that way, and we have five slots of height adjustability in through here. Now, your seat to floor height range uh, goes as low as 12 and a half with 20 inch rears on the back and 20 inch wheels on the front, right up to 19 and a half inch seat to floor height with this rear axle configuration. Something new that we've introduced over the last few years is an inside mount axle plate and what we do with that is we take the axle plate, we mount it on the inside of the frame as opposed to the outside. We bolt it through and we have all that adjustability in through here. I'm just going to sit. And the reason why we put an inside mount axle plate is so we can put an inside mount wheel configuration. I'm going to grab a wheel and I'm going to show you how that's done. So your standard wheel in your wheelchair is approximately this size. 18, 12, actually 20, uh, 22, 20, or 24 inches is a standard wheel configuration for most wheelchairs that we use. But we have a 12 inch wheel that we mount on the inside of the STP. So once we mount the inside of that rear axle, we can mount two 12 inch wheels in the frame. And the reason why we do that is for those clients that need to get through very narrow doorways and they are unable to hand propel on their own. So a caregiver, most typically on a tilt chair, you would mount a inside mount wheel to narrow the configuration of the chair to get through those tight wartime homes or facilities that haven't been modified to modern day standards. So again, most typically on the STP, 
Once we mount the wheel on the back with that rear axle, we're able to put a brake assembly here in reach of the caregiver that they can engage the wheel or disengage the wheel. So that's what we call our inside mount on our STP. Something new and exciting that a lot more people are using. Another type of axle plate that we have is a horizontal axle plate on our Voyager. Also, uh, we also have a Magic Plus. Uh, there are two different types of frames. One's lighter than the other. This so happens to be the heavier of the frame. But the way this mount, uh, this is it mounted horizontal. So we can take the plate and adjust it, the height of it. We can adjust the wheels forward or all the way to the back to stabilize the unit. So if we've got somebody that's a little heavier or somebody that needs extra stability in the chair, we'd want our wheel base as far, far apart as possible to increase the stability of the chair from preventing it from tipping forward or back. If we need to, uh, for somebody who needs to turn the chair within the confined premises or need to strike the wheels and get their hands at 90 on the wheels to propel it, then we try to get this bolt as far forward as possible. So hence, that's why we have the adjustability in this chair. Now, there is something that we have called camber. Uh, camber is when your wheels are tilting this way as opposed to being at zero degrees. So one, two, three degrees. And what camber does is it allows for a swifter movement in turns. And the way we achieve camber uh, is by putting a washer on the bottom two bolts of our axle plate which angles our axle plate and we pull the wheel just a little further off so it doesn't rub here and now we've got more of a performance type of a chair that handles a lot more better than a standard zero degree camber type of a chair. We also have the option of beefing this up so uh, if we have a client that's five six hundred pounds uh, we can't put a standard axle plate on this chair because it, it will bend and it will warp so what we do here at Power Plus is we double up on the thickness of the axle plates and we also put a larger bolt, such as that, to increase the stability. This is what we call a bariatric bolt and this is part of the bariatric package of our rear axle assembly. Um, so if you're trying to change an axle plate and um, the client's conditions have changed, go to a heavy duty bolt in a bariatric application to prevent any, uh, any bending of the wheels and so forth. Our third axle plate that we have is on our Type 3 chair, which is a Magic Plus. It is a vertical axle plate in here. You can see how the wheel is mounted on the um, actual unit. And by having a vertical, uh, vertical adjustability, we have a greater range of depth adjustability, forward adjustability, moving the axle plate along the frame, and also height adjustability. So having greater adjustability allows for a finer tuned chair to accommodate for the end user uh, for their hand propelling needs, and even the seat to floor height needs for the foot propulsion. So those are our three types of axle plates. Thank you very much.